And this is an extreme case of calculus. My goodness. Teeth calculus, two years, no clean. That's a lot of calculus for only two years. So it kind of tells me that this patient may have, um, they just may have like a lot of calculus buildup in general. Like they just have a lot of calculus in their gums. I'm um, gums and their saliva. So it just, they're easily, they're more easily to get this essentially. But yeah, that's a uh, nice. But yeah, you see that how, see how that red, that's inflamed. Bacteria is just hiding in there constantly, which can lead to the same things as I mentioned before. Gingivitis and periodontal disease. Not good. Hey guys, what do we have going on here? This is an example of subgingival calculus. Tartar stuck underneath the gum line, mm. causing major mm. inflammation and bone loss. This is significant periodontal disease. That tooth is loose. It's gonna. When you finally get calculus under your gums, that's a huge sign that you probably have periodontal disease, which means it's too late. It means you already are you already have bone loss, and if you don't have it, you probably will eventually. You're gonna have to go to the dentist a lot more often and maintain it because periodontal disease you can't fix it but you can maintain it as long as you brush your teeth floss very very good i mean brush very good and go to your dentist many times in a year a lot more than the average person calculus under your gums like this not a good sign <laughs> so yeah, yeah be aware guys be aware the dental calculus oh that person has mammalons dude those little those, those ridges on the tooth that's mammalons yeah, this is tartar. This is like this calculus is um, yeah, that's 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 how they're removing it using an instrument, and just it's just oh look at that looks so much better, dude. Without the without the calculus, doesn't doesn't the tooth look better? I know it's bleeding. I know it looks inflamed, but you gotta remove it because if you don't, it's only gonna get worse and it's only gonna damage your gums and your teeth more. So, it will heal, but hopefully it's not too late for this person. Implanted dentures, yep. For those who don't know, once you get the implanted dentures, you have to have them a yearly cleaning from by your dentist. Now, I don't know how I don't know if this is normal severity of calculus on implanted dentures because I have never worked with them yet. I will work them with, with them in my third year. That's a lot of calculus, bro. That's a lot. But yeah, that's why it's so important, especially if you have implanted dentures. You need to get them cleaned yearly by your dentist, by a professional, because buildup does happen under that implanted dentures you sometimes feel on your teeth all right so now we're going to learn a little bit more about calculus and how it works how it forms and stuff like that is when bacteria eat the carbs and sugars that we eat and then poop on our teeth it's called carbs and sugars the bacteria love them <laughs> so oh uh, it's it's uh it's intense especially since we eat a lot of carbs and sugars i would uh, i would assume for the mo the average person a plaque and if you don't remove the plaque every day by brushing and flossing, it will combine with the minerals in your saliva, get hard harden. and stuck to the tooth. We mm -hmm. call that calculus or tartar. The next time you're brushing, check behind those lower front teeth and see if you have any tartar buildup there. We have two salivary glands that empty right behind those teeth. So that's why when you open, sometimes you get that stream of saliva called a glick. All right, this video guys, just trying to show you guys the difference between a stained tooth as the top one here and then actual calculus in the bottom here. Stained teeth is, you know, it's stained, you know, it's like, it could be from smoking, drinking, coffee, uh, eating certain foods that cause it, like turmeric, for example. Um, and then calculus is down here, as you guys can see, that's the hard material. That's hard, that's like a rock almost. So completely different things, but just wanted to show the difference. And this is an extreme case of calculus. My goodness. I have no idea how many years this is, but this might be 20, 30 years of calculus buildup. Wow. All right, this one might be the worst one I've ever seen. Dang. And if you guys want a nice, excellent toothbrush that will help you brush your teeth and help prevent this calculus, link is in the description. Link is in the comment of the video, guys. Seriously. Um, use it because this toothbrush is soft um, and it, it's just really good. This is a really good toothbrush. This is the one I use here in this video, as you guys can see. Uh, very, very nice toothbrush. I absolutely love it. I've been introduced to it like three months ago and I absolutely love it, love it and I'm not going back. Without further ado, guys, please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you on the next one. And also, don't forget to smile.
I've never had spicy food this intense. This is the most intense I've ever had. Who should you listen to more? You. I mean, it's literally burning. Like my whole tongue, the throat. I don't even know if I can eat it. Quero ver a cor dela mudar. Quando ela tá no verde.